Hi all, it's Shannon from Smellicious Soaps here and today I'm going to be making um, an ombre soap and I'm practicing for my um, challenge soap for the Amy, Amy Warden's Great Cake Soap Works um, monthly challenge. This month is an ombre soap with three different colors. Uh, this one's just with two different colors just so I can get the hang of it. And then after this one, at some point, I will do my challenge soap. So I am doing frosted snowdrops for my fragrance. And so I'm going from blue to white. At least that's my plan. We shall see if it'll actually work, right? Okay, so I'm just about ready to whiz it all up here. Let me just make sure my milks and my clay are all mixed up here. <laughs> I just need to grab my little strainer here. Bit of a whiz. Much. Oversaturated with blue, or it's going to be my darkest blue rather. And then I'll pour a layer and then add in some white. So I am going to go about half. There we go. Yeah, it's about half. Okay, so now. I've got some um, blue lab color here from Brambleberry. darker, probably. Alright, that should be good. as much of this blue off as I can. Alright. So now I'm going to do my white. Uh-oh. starting to thicken up on me. That's not good. No, it's not. Never mind. I don't know. I'm dreaming. Pre-mixed in water, titanium dioxide. It's hmm. a pretty decent white. Okay. 
kind of hoped for wider. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. That's actually pretty good. All right, good. So now we shall start. Hmm. All right, good enough. Okay, so let me grab my mold. Hopefully y'all can hear me. Can we see? Yeah. yeah. Alright, so I'm going to pour some in. Oh, I need to stretch too. Gracious. Okay, so now I'm going to try to put some white on the top. I don't have a whole lot of white left. I definitely should have used less of the blue. Learning, right? I'm not going to be able to do the top I wanted to do. There. Goodness. Oh, 
Okie dokie then. Let me just go pour off these samples real quick before I do anything to that top. I'll let it set up a little bit. Dragging my mold all the way through some soap. I'll clean it up later. There. That's pretty nice. Now I need some glitter. Not just any old glitter. I've got blue glitter. This is ice blue. Okay. Well, for a practice soap, that's not bad at all, actually. However, there you have it. Freshly made batch of frosted snowdrops. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And come and see me next time when I'm making my challenge soap with... What fragrance did I pick? Oh yeah, apple and pumpkin strudel. All right, well, I'll see you all next time. Bye. Hi y'all, it's Shannon from Smalicious Soaps here and I am getting ready to cut um, what I've decided to call Arctic Ice Soap and it's the practice gradient soap that I made yesterday. So there it is, all nice and ready. I'm loving the gradient. It looks really cool on this, on this side. So I'm really eager to see what it looks like on the inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut. Whoops. Okay, and here we go. I 
I got to unmold this last night and I've been dying to cut it. My kids just went off to school, so I'm up here cutting some soap. Boing. Well, that's pretty. All right, so that's the end slice. There we go. It's very, very pretty. I'm liking this a lot. Now, my layers got a little bit muddled, but I'm not all that worried, really. Could have used a little bit more of the darker blue on the bottom and a little bit less of this blue, but it's good. I still really like it. That's the top. Ooh, look. This one's got like a little wave right here. <laughs> That's neat. However much I really like the look of the gradient soap, it was difficult to do. I got a little air pocket in there. Yeah, right there. It's okay, though. I really like it though. I mean, I like the way it looks, but it was stressful for me to do. I don't know if it's stressful for everybody, but it was stressful for me. There we go. smells good too. This is the, I keep forgetting the name of the fragrance oil, but it's Frosted Snowdrops. And it smells really fresh and clean. And if something can smell cold, it does smell cold, which is appropriate. It did crack a little bit on the top. I don't know if you saw it in this soap here on the top. See this crack right here? So it did heat up a bit. But it didn't discolor. It still looks very nice. I really like it. It's pretty. And then there's the last end piece. Alrighty, so there you have my Arctic Ice. And I will be back to video the cutting of the um, challenge soap. Alright, I'll see you all later. Bye!